was just waiting for the Instagram to start. Okay, here we go. Hello everyone, this is uh, Rhonda Abbas. I'm a Reiki master here at Just Be. Uh, so lovely to uh, see everyone again here. Uh, uh, I'm so happy to talk to you about the third eye this evening. Uh, last week we spoke about the throat chakra and I'm running a meditation at 6.30 tonight uh, for the throat chakra if uh, you are interested. I'm here at the center. We start the meditation at 6.30. I uh, would love to see, uh, see you or if you have time. You can, you're welcome to join us tonight, okay? Uh, so this week, I will talk about the third eye. I will be running meditations on uh, Wednesday, first on Monday at uh, uh, 10.30 in the morning, and on Wednesday at 6.30 in the evening. Uh, we will be uh, meditating to open and un unblock uh, the third eye, okay? So to give you like, uh, and uh, like um, an overview how I do my meditations. We start the meditation with breathing and then after we breathe, uh, we connect and uh, we start uh, visualizing uh, the, the chakra that I'm working on that day, like next week, uh, next week it will be the third eye. So uh, we will channel light and then after we will do a chanting and then we will do sound vibration. Uh, we will do affirmations. And at the end of the, uh, the meditation, I will go around and heal the chakra we're working on that uh, evening or that day. Okay, so um, uh, today uh, let's talk about uh, the third eye and why it's very important for the third eye to be open and functioning well. Uh, if you want to go over the five chakras, uh, like below from the neck all the way down to the end of the spine, if we say uh, we talk again about like the root chakra, it's uh, related to our connection to earth and to family ancestry, to work, to money. The um, sacral chakra is connected to our emotions, our relationship, uh, relationship with others, uh, how uh, we come, uh, how we are in a relationship with anyone in our life, whether it's a romantic, it's a friendship, and it has to do with our emotions and our sexuality, how we express our sexuality. Uh, we go higher, the solar plexus is all about our connection to ourself, how we see ourselves, our confidence, our will, our like existence, uh, how we see ourselves, in society okay and then with the heart chakra is all about giving and receiving love it's about compassion and it's very important that the heart chakra for us to be giving love and at the same time allowing ourselves to receive love because a lot of times we we just give love and we don't feel we are worthy of receiving love so we block our heart chakra Last week, we spoke about the throat chakra and why it's important for it to be open so we can communicate our emotions, uh, to express our feelings, our love. It's about expressing uh, the I am, who I see myself in society, how I want to present myself. And we spoke about how, why it gets blocked and how we can open it, okay? So if we look here, I want you to imagine it's um, it's very easy, okay? So this chakra is the door, is the window that the chakras above, like the third eye and the crown chakra, breathe, okay? Breathe, and then the lower chakras also breathe through this window here, okay? So if there is anything in the lower chakras, the lower chakras has everything to do with our connection to earth and people around us, okay? How we feel, how we express our emotions, how we are in the society, connection to family, to earth, how we express ourselves here on earth, okay? So everything that has to do with earth, with people around us, on the 3D level, the lower chakras like heart, solar plexus, sacral chakra, and root chakra, the fourth chakra communicates our connection to everything I said through the throat chakra, okay? 
So, and uh, if we go higher, so the lower chakras, the lower you get, the frequency is less and less. Okay, so the lowest frequency uh, in our chakras is the root chakra. And the higher you get, the frequency gets higher. Okay, so here the frequency is higher than the root chakra. So once we jump from the throat chakra to the third eye and the crown, the crown has the highest frequency. Okay, because it's the connection to the vine. So the third eye has also a high frequency, has a very high frequency, and uh, it's connected to our spirituality, that everything that is beyond the physical. So if the, from the heart to the root chakra is connection to the physical, when we go here from the third eye to the crown, it has everything connection to the divine, our spirituality, our intuition, the things that we cannot see with the eyes, the things that we can feel and we can connect to, like in a spiritual way. So when you want to vibrate high and you want really your third eye to be open, because I get a lot of people asking me, oh, please, can you open my third eye? It's very important to open the third eye. But if you have blockages in your lower chakras, like you have your root or your sacral or your solar or your heart, your throat chakra is blocked, even if you open the third eye, you, you will not know if it is an illusion what you are seeing or it is the truth because everything else is blocked and then you don't have the confidence or the right emotions or the connection to earth or the speech to speak about it so what is going to happen you're gonna open it and then you're not gonna know how to use it and then if you start seeing like uh, uh, like vibrations or you see like uh, uh, dreams or you see visions you're going to be scared you're not going to be able to handle it so it's not very important to open the third eye if all the chakras below are not functioning well so you work on the lower chakras and you unblock all of them and you feel at ease you feel your heart is open you're compassionate you can express yourself freely you connect to your inner self like the the your solar plexus you're confident you're someone that is uh, connected to your inner self you are you see things from a different perspective you are emotionally stable you accept your sexuality you have a good connection to your friends you have have good connection to your family you already worked on your root chakra you you are happy at your work you're making money so you've solved everything connecting to earth and now you want to open your third eye and you open your third eye and you are ready to just vibrate higher and you are ready to just start receiving the messages and connecting to the spirits around you and see visions and see uh, your intuition is very sharp because there is no fear blocking your intuition if intuition is connected to fear then you cannot really know if it, it is open or you cannot listen to it you cannot follow it so it's very very important to get rid of fear that usually it is stu it's stuck in your root chakra and in your solar plexus you get rid of fear so and you become confident so you can receive the messages that when you open your third eye then you can be 100 percent sure that what you are seeing is exactly coming from a source from the divine from uh, your angels from your inner voice from all the things that you cannot see with the, your eyes okay so work on your lower chakras unblock them take care of them and after that when you see that you are spiritually open then you open your third eye and the eye here that can go in look inward and just see the inner voice that god put in you to guide you but if there is a mess in your body and your other chakras you will not be able to hear your inner voice that will guide you to how you can change your life how you can see things that you cannot see with your eyes, but you can see with your third eye, with your intuition. Okay, this is just an introduction to know the importance of uh, the third eye, why it's so important for us to open it, but also to open it 
the right way, not just open it and then don't know how to handle it. It's not it's not good because then you, you will attract more fear and then you would want to block it so you don't see what you will be seeing, okay? Um, also, what I wanted to tell you that there are many ways to open your third eye. Uh, there are meditations, you can go to a healer. There are, we will talk about all this at the end. But now let's talk a little bit about the third eye and uh, how it functions, uh, what blocks it, what how you can open it, if you have it open, what char characteristics you have in yourself to know if you have your, th your third eye open or not. Okay, where is the location of the third eye? It's, it's right here. Uh, the color of it is indigo. Um, indigo color. Um, okay, the objective of it is very important, it's the intuition. It's a psychic talent. Uh, it's the self-reflection, is seeing things from a different perspective without being judgmental, is getting away from the illusion uh, and trusting that it's very important, trusting your intuition, okay? Um, also, um, it's knowing your truth. Uh, knowing who you are as a person, exactly, like being able to look inside yourself and know how, like me, knowing who, who Randa is, who, what, what she loves, what she doesn't love, how, where is she comfortable, what she accepts, creating my boundaries. I, when there are issues or problems around me with friends or with family, how I don't take sides, how I don't become a judgmental, how I don't get stuck in the illusion and start creating movies and scenarios in my head. And, you know, it's very important not to get stuck in your head, in the illusion you form with your body, within your mind, okay? So uh, if it is open, how do I know uh, it's open, okay? If your intuition is right on, okay, it's and always constantly guiding you, and you trust completely your intuition, meaning what what do I mean by that? So let's say if uh, to, today I, ha I have an out outing at, in the evening with friends, and something the inner voice is telling me don't go, don't go tonight, uh, uh, and I keep feeling I have an emotion. I feel because also the intuition is connected to your emotions. I keep getting an emotion that I shouldn't go out tonight, okay? So if if I trust my intuition, I will cancel the, the outing, okay? If I don't trust my intuition, my intuition is trying to guide me and I don't listen and I go out, despite that I don't feel well about going out, and something happens, either I get in a car accident, God forbid, or I go to the evening, the party or the dinner and something goes wrong or I don't enjoy myself. And a lot of people, you know, how many of you found themselves in a situation like that? So what will happen is that you will go back home uh, and then you will say, I wish I listened to my intuition. If everything else is functioning well, you will make the right choice. If you're still making the wrong choice, and you're not listening to your intuition, meaning your third eye is not open completely, or you need to work on your other chakras, okay? So the person with with a third eye open perfectly will do the right decision, okay? Because this is how over time you will learn to trust, trust your third eye, trust your intuition, okay? Uh, uh, the person that uh, has the third eye open functioning well, uh, they have strong sense of their own inner truth, okay? So I know I know who I am, I, I believe in myself. And I listen, like I said, I listen, and I follow the guide, the guides that are, uh, will lead me to, to my path, okay? So there are guidelines that my intuition is always trying to guide me through that path to find my, to find my, what I'm looking for, my purpose. So if I connect and I'm constantly following it, meaning that I trust my intuition and my third eye is open, okay? When I act, I'm confident and I act out of confidence, out based on my intuition, this means also it's open, okay? It is open uh, if I have emotional uh, intelligence. Uh, meaning I listen to my emotions and my om emotions are always guiding me uh, in the right way, meaning I go into a, a crowd or something and I feel the vibe, I can feel each person 
if they are like toxic, not toxic, this person I can trust. This so in my emotions are constantly guiding me to feel others. So this is I have emotional intelligence. Okay, I have insights into self and others. Okay, this is also is connected to the one before. I have the ability to understand mental concepts. Meaning, I don't get stuck on what I only know. So I'm able to get out of my personal experiences and see uh, things from uh, from a different perspective. Meaning, I'm willing to open my mind and my my like uh, my myself to new visions, to new concepts, to new way of seeing things. I'm not just stuck on what happened with me and I'm willing to learn from somebody else's experience and I'm willing to see things from a different perspective, okay? Um, sharing of knowledge and wisdom and uh, if my third eye is open, I will be willing to share my knowledge with others and it's, it's connected, this third eye is connected to wisdom, okay? So if I, the person with the third eye open, they have a lot of wisdom and um, the wisdom they use it to guide others they use it to to help others once you have your third eye open you don't own it it's 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 owned by the people around you that you need to help it's not only you have it open for yourself you have it open also to help others to guide others to be there for others if somebody is stuck in a situation or somebody is um, is not able to find their own way or their own purpose and you have your third eye open and you see things from a different perspective it is your responsibility since your third eye is open to guide others so it's not something that you own it just you it's also you own it and you can share the knowledge with others okay um, what are the characteristics that you will feel if your third eye is blocked okay so you feel disconnected from your intuition this is number one or you feel lack lack of intuition and meaning if you want to go left or right you, you're always confused you don't know if you should go here go there constantly asking people can you guide me help me what do you think i should do so if you're always seeking somebody's help to tell you what to do in your life meaning your third eye is blocked okay you feel lost when it comes to spiritual purpose and path in life so if you cannot connect your spirituality you don't feel your spirit you don't feel that you can connect easily to everything that to everything alive like to life itself to everything that vibrates around you to energies to to people around you if you cannot feel you're connected meaning your third eye is blocked okay if you get headaches and tensions in in this area right here, uh, constantly meaning you you have your uh, third eye blocked. Um, if you have uh, you are, you have fear of truth and living in an, an illusion. Uh, so if you 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 don't want to hear the truth, it's like you like people to tell you what you want to hear. You don't want to hear the truth and you prefer to go home and when there is a situation, either you want to play the victim role or you want to be stuck uh, in your illusion, the, the movies that you create in your mind to make yourself, to self pity yourself or you love to be in the victim role. So this means that you don't want to hear the truth because if you want to hear the truth, you would want to get out of the victim role or being insecure, or you would want to grow and learn, okay? If you withhold your wisdom and insights, let's say you know a lot and you have an insight, and but you don't like to share it with others. This way you can block your third eye because you don't want to help others and you just want to use it to yourself and uh, be like, ownership meaning you're not willing to share your, your wisdom with others or help others you can block your third eye okay um, you don't have uh, um, mental uh, drive and uh, if you focus too much on your past or on your future so the, how many how many of us constantly sit sit like like this and they think oh what happened in the past and they live in the past or you know they sit and they are afraid constantly living in fear from the future there are so many people sitting 
and constantly worrying, worrying, worrying about what is going to happen tomorrow, if I can make enough money, if I can get a good job, if I can uh, marry someone, if I can find the love of my life, if, 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 and I sit here worrying about what is going to happen tomorrow. Or if you sit here and you say, I'm not going to live this life, I'm not going to be happy because of what happened to me in the past. I had somebody that hurt me. I had somebody that broke my heart. Uh, this experience uh, affected me. So if you're living in the past or living too much in the future and you're creating again scenarios and fear, so definitely your third eye is blocked because the number one, number one thing to open your third eye is to trust and live just the present moment and enjoy the now because all you have you have just this moment you don't have the past if you had the past you can go and change things in the past the past made you who you are as a person so you should trust this moment and the past is in the past you love it you're grateful to it you let it go and you feel uh, grateful to all the events, the people that came to your life, that taught you lessons, that made you the person that you are now. And the future is you have the, you have the power to create your future at this moment. This moment, you have the power to create your future. So nothing, no one dictates who you're going to be in five days or in 10 years. It's you. If you think negative and you're always living in fear, you're just going to attract more fear. If you believe today and you trust that you're all, you'll always be taken care of, you'll always be happy, you can create your own happiness, you master your life and you live in the moment and you enjoy just today, you create an amazing future that you can enjoy later on. Okay, so this is, um, we will talk more. Usually when I have my people here and we're meditating, we discuss and we talk about the chakra that we're meditating on and I will answer questions and we share experiences and I answer anyone that have a, a question or they have a problem, they don't know how to. So I always, always leave 10 minutes at the end of the meditation for us to discuss. Uh, things and for me to answer questions. I hope that I was able to give you uh, an idea what the third eye is and uh, please join me next week at this beautiful center. Just be centered that I'm so proud to be part of uh, on Monday at 10.30 and Wednesday at 10.30 in the morning a.m. and uh, 6.30 in the evening on Wednesday to meditate and open the third eye. And I promise you it's gonna be an amazing meditation. So please come and meet me and see me and I'll be very happy to meet you, okay? Have a nice evening. In five minutes, I start my meditation. So bye.